So in the beginning, uh, it is important to watch your mind and to examine, and then uh, after that, uh, uh, just uh, in relation with this Guru Yoga practice, that in beginning one should remind yourself about the uh, the four foundation practices such as the uh, outer uh, common uh, preliminary practice and the inner uh, uncommon preliminary practices and then uh, try to generate a bodhicitta that thinking about the all the apparently sentient beings how they are wandering and suffering in the samsara and really wish to liberate them from the suffering of samsara and lead them to enlightenment in that way, one need to make sure that one could give rise to, you know, compassion, loving kindness to all those beings and also the bodhicitta. And in that way, then uh, concentrate your mind and then do the practice. So all the past, present, future Buddhas, they all uh, relying upon their master and in that way they attain enlightenment. There is no any single Buddha who haven't relied or just uh, subjugate to the uh, to their master. So uh, so that is why it is always important that uh, uh, carrying through the supplication prayer to the Guru and then uh, all the time just uh, visualizing that Guru is above your head and then when you are going to bed, you know, sleeping, then uh, Guru is in your heart. In that way, just always reminding oneself uh, about the Guru Yoga practice. <laughs> So in that way, as one uh, with a single-pointed mind uh, subjugate to the Guru and uh, getting through that uh, practice, and that which helps to uh, get rid of all sorts of uh, negativities and uh, also ultimately that uh, we could attain enlightenment, that everything is dependent upon the Guru. Well, Lama Yedam Drutup Kanditi in our Thorong Zai Lama de Lesoratani Yong Gurus. So, whatever sorts of uh, the, uh, the practices in relation with the uh, three deity, as like uh, the Lama meditational deity and Takini, also uh, related or dependent with the uh, one's uh, root teacher. Lama said that Maso so that uh, guru in a way just uh, in, uh, in tibet as a uh, tutelary uh, master in tibet that uh, we all feel much uh, grateful to him uh, that which is the guru padma sambhava so in this way, uh, thinking and uh, concentrating your mind uh, with all this, and then uh, we carry through the Guru Yoga practice. So in this way, every, uh, every day, just obligating uh, through this uh, practice to the one's root teacher, it is uh, beneficial and also important. So 
So, like a uh, instance, uh, myself uh, from uh, very childhood, it has been recognized as uh, the guru, and then uh, uh, just gone through all the training, and uh, thousands of monks and just uh, as a uh, object of their refuge. Not a girl. Um, wrong also so give um, lama kadin chenlen. Then, one no trace um, chasung da ji tobiere. And then also, just uh, I could uh, receive um, all those uh, uh, the empowerments and transmission and the whole complete uh, instruction from all those my most uh, kind and great uh, masters. So then, uh, according to that, uh, one have. Uh, work out with all these uh, practices that uh, uh, depending upon how much one can really do all those practices. So in that way, just uh, many, they believe that uh, it is a great master and uh, respect and uh, also just, you know, the object of uh, prostration. But uh, for uh, oneself, that uh, when people just uh, respect or just, you know, doing prostration, uh, I don't like that much. So it is uh, because that in case if one have some merit, then uh, just by those, you know, action, uh, one may degenerate one's merit. So when I just uh, uh, rest on the throne and people started doing prostration, I never thought that I'm great or I'm something very special. I never thought in my life. Uh, however, that day, uh, if... Uh, uh, if I think in myself, I have a great deal of uh, just a loving kindness to all these beings. And also, I just uh, generate that uh, uh, with the wish that I could uh, fulfill uh, each and every being's their wishes. Uh, however, that uh, based on my own self, uh, of course, uh, have certain level of, you know, power or just uh, what so, but uh, I never just uh, give rise to any pride. Oh, yeah. on two ten last of a day injury, burn it, jagan it, just chambers, yes. And also that uh, uh, in relation with the uh, constructions like a uh, uh, support of body, speech, mind in Tibet and India, that uh, just uh, I work hard whatever I could do. So in that way, you know, in a way, of course, uh, I feel happy uh, that uh, would be beneficial to others, but, uh, uh, but still I never have any kind of pride, proud or just kind of pride or ego that thinking, oh, I did a kind of, you know, great job. So, like uh, uh, myself as uh, the uh, throne holder and the uh, holder of the uh, Payul, the glorious Payul uh, tradition, and then uh, like in Tibet, there are just uh, more than uh, 100,000 monks that uh, which I have the responsibility. But uh, just uh, thinking that, oh, I have those 
kind of you know honor and uh, i never just uh, uh, insult any anybody uh, in, uh, in 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 any way so do sole no seva do shamba de kon tutu ji logis so whoever uh, it is you know i uh, really work hard that uh, could to generate compassion and loving kindness to all of them then the director of na america in the nasu chembo in dubai the najamajis and similar like that <laughs> you guys don't think that oh we are american great and uh, don't develop those ego and pride na keba imades and don't think that i'm a great scholar charon so le so jong se ke we and that that is here ya por es you know na jamajis of course so just as you have studied you have some knowledge or understanding it is good but uh, no need to develop the pride or ego jiten den no ji banjuro no shi kan don kan ni na o ron ji nam che ji lam de ma dim du ji de ma do ya phet tu ya ji am whatever sorts of this samsarik or worldly activities in relation with the material wealth and belongings however we may develop it it is just a, a cause to degenerate the enlightened quality nature then kasiji and then chembo is then our tanji kikugin do us however one thing one self is a great educated but still one have to learn more and then of course you know one day we die and uh, as we die then you know just once uh, kind of you know scared and frightened eyes are open and then you know mouth are open in that way rano so so ji ben to go don jeme lon se den le xian chao ge ji xie ti xin do ge and uh, even just uh, was to do was uh, when they just you know die then still they have so much uh, attachment for their wife or children or you know their belongings and so forth she che ya bo ji do na he do go you know the 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 no the that they don't call you know xian xiao de ma de le tu go was so in case uh, if we could do a very good practice you know very good practice dharma then uh, you know just even death happens to oneself you know one can at least release those attachment and grasping in in relation with those you know or objects and materials shindo in ka in our own so to kase in those on the day on the mama bane on so the mangra was so when we just you know die then uh, at that moment only that uh, we could have some uh, extent of power or just a kind of ability is just because of the dharma practice that which can benefit even the next lifetime maso gamanun lama sonlo sem lagenjes so in our monastery in india that we have a lama called lama sonlu kan jiten ne no jikeda tamre he un de lama de kande de go sam de de ronje sebo sabo he gres so uh, this lama that uh, when he uh, talks that in relation with this uh, any kind of you know related with this world then uh, it seems like uh, oh he is a kind of you know very prideful person then lama la parne ne down da ji na oh re ji mindu as <laughs> ji ji and then uh, if uh, we just uh, you know kind of seriously talk to him then he says oh yeah just there is nothing much then kuma kon na ne gon ba zo ne son se dei ka de na da lo che gere se kon ta che gen de so when uh, he is uh, almost going to die then uh, he just kind of knows that oh this year i'm going to die then to mo se che nu ma re se ena la ma ge da ga da yo yo so to ba le koron ge mo ten da de cha so koron pa ton so uh, he was not uh, very sick but anyway just you know kind of he distributed all his uh, wealth and belonging to all over you know india to the uh, masters and then also got back all the receipt for himself then gamba no ne he don't net to jinasus and then in, in the temple 
that uh, did the uh, uh, puja, the hundred deity puja, you know, accumulating thousand times. What did Sando did Gendemba only Kunjepi and the Chatum Korinjoli Tesus? And then uh, when that uh, puja is over, then uh, he himself just uh, went and make all those, you know, just uh, offerings. And then uh, after completing all those, and then the next day, it seems like, uh, you know, kind of he's a little bit sick. And then uh, some of uh, maybe disciples, you know, asked him, you know, how are you, how you are doing? And then he said, oh, just I'm fine, you know, just now. Even that happens, I'm just like uh, moving from one house to another house. And then he just uh, advised them that uh, you all, you know, just with uh, all sorts of, you know, family uh, kind of, you know, just attachment and so forth. And then, uh, you know, just uh, try to live more harmoniously and peacefully, you know, not to just quarrel and fight. And in that way, he gave lots of uh, advices. He said, you uh, never have to worry anything about me. And then uh, that uh, after the death, uh, normally according to this uh, uh, Buddhist tradition, then uh, uh, do uh, seven, uh, seven weeks uh, that uh, puja, and according to that, he kind of, you know, just divide all his money for every, you know, week pujas. And also that uh, for the cremation, that uh, whatever they see, uh, five puja substances are need, he already just prepared everything. So he said, you know, of course, I don't need really anything, but uh, it is our kind of, you know, tradition that uh, want to prepare in this way. And then in the next day, you know, he passed away, and then he passed away without any pain and uh, kind of peacefully. And uh, many people uh, that uh, somehow they don't really believe that much to this Lama. So when he prepared uh, just for, you know, dying and making all those offerings, then people start, started saying that, oh, well, you know, <laughs> if he die, it's fine. Otherwise, what is going to happen? <laughs> but it is not like uh, our thought or mind that uh, somehow he just knows what he needs to do. But uh, we still just kind of, you know, criticize the Lama. So this is uh, our worldly mind, uh, somehow, that uh, so many conceptual thoughts just uh, arising and uh, it is nothing very stable. So in this way, if one just... Uh, try to, you know, do the Dharma practice properly, and then it is just all the time, you know, it's beneficial. Oh, yeah. And with the, you know, full devotion and uh, inclination, then we carry through the Bajar Guru Mantras. So in this way, always uh, one should uh, think and uh, visualize that uh, 
the one's root teacher uh, as a nature of the uh, past, present, future Buddha is always there uh, abiding in front of oneself or just constantly uh, looking to us. So in that way, then uh, one tried to just uh, have, uh, have the uh, control over one's body, speech, mind, the three doors, just uh, thinking that in case one do anything, uh, any sort of uh, just a wrong activity through one's three doors, then uh, one's root teacher and then the uh, three uh, tens Buddha, they are always, always just watching us. So like uh, all these uh, enlightened Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they are just always there, hundreds and thousands and millions of them. So in that way, just uh, understanding and thinking that uh, all these uh, enlightened beings are constantly watching and they will know us and uh, with that sense of understanding, one try to abandon all sorts of uh, wrong uh, behaviors and uh, all the wrong thoughts. So, uh, その時、その時、中に何しに、ケージ so, uh, of course, there are just uh, countless, uh, countless uh, uh, elements of the sentient beings, uh, but still, uh, however, they are, you know, each and every individual, their elements or faculties and so forth, but uh, all this uh, Buddha, the enlightened being, they would know within a moment, you know, all those, everything very clear. And uh, in that way, one have to just uh, understand and uh, just uh, discipline oneself and try to uh, get rid of all those wrong afflictive emotions or wrong thoughts that uh, knowing that uh, all these uh, Buddhas and uh, enlightened beings, they will, you know, just understand and then, you know, just one should to have the sense of, you know, kind of, being uh, shame about just uh, doing any kind of you know wrong or negative uh, actions so uh, always try to uh, relax uh, one's mind in its nature uh, instead of just uh, giving rise to all these worldly concerned thoughts oh yeah then can to uh, so uh, the Tegel, the first year, uh, rest, uh, you all can just uh, uh, carry through your practices. Okay, thank you.